Hello friends, I am Bharti, working as assistant professor in MCA department, Surana College. For the next few minutes, I am going to explain you a very important pattern matching algorithm, that is Boyer-Moore algorithm. Unlike other algorithms, we match the characters of the pattern with the given text from right to left than left to right. In this algorithm, we have a pre-processing step where we construct a bad match table. This algorithm works with the idea of a bad match rule and a good shift rule. The bad match rule is we calculate the values for each and every characters using a formula in the pattern. The good shift rule is using the values of these characters of the pattern, we keep on shifting the pattern position to the right corresponding to the value of the table. So now uh, let us go through with an example. Now I have taken an example. The given text is welcome to Surana College where the length of the text is the n value which is 22 characters. So as we consider always it is in terms of arrays it starts with a 0, 1, 2, 3 till n value. Now the pattern if you consider the pattern length always we mentioned with this symbol where the pattern length is the value 6 here. Now if you observe uh, here again we consider it as an array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the pattern length is 6. Now uh, let us move to a pre-processing step where we construct bad match table. Now here is a table where all the characters from the pattern are being written. Now there should not be any repeated characters in the table. Now I have started with yes, u, r, you have a, n. A already we have in the table, we you no need to write it once again. And the last character star we have. So uh, the role of this star symbol is during the matching procedure, if we find any character other than this pattern, we are going to consider the character it as star. Where the value of this star is always equal to the length of the pattern which is 6. This is a very important point that we have to remember. The value of star is always 6. Along with that, so in the pattern, the value of the last character. So here in this example, if you observe, the last character is A. So A's value is also 6. So these are the two main things that we have to consider. The last character from the pattern is also equal to length of the pattern. And the star value is also equal to length of the pattern. Now uh, let us go through calculating the remaining values. Now when we are calculating these values, we follow a formula, the value equal to length minus index minus 1. Now if you observe here, the value is nothing but the characters of the pattern. Now, now the first character is yes, length is nothing but the length of the pattern. So now in this case, what is the length of the pattern here? We have 6. Now, minus index. The index is the position value of that particular character. If you observe here, the position value of S is 0. Then according to the formula, you have 1. So, 6 minus 1, exactly the value of S, we are going to consider it as 5. Now, moving to next character, it is U. So, U again, the length is same. The position value of U here, if you observe it is 1 minus 1, 6 minus 2, you are going to consider it as the value 4. So, hope you are understanding the concept. So, each and every value will be calculated using the given formula. Now, moving to next character is a R. So, R is you have value 6 minus. So, R's position value is 2 minus 1 exactly it is 3. So, now the R value is we consider it as 3. Now, coming to A. So, A as we have already considered that the value 6. So, uh, before considering the value 6, I will tell you uh, the procedure. Now, here you have A repeated twice. Sometimes, if you have another character like S. So, now A is not the last character. So, first A position value will be calculated. Now, A value is, so it is 6 minus 3 minus 1, it is 2. So, now first time I will consider it as 2. Second time also A is a we have, so that is A equal to 6 minus 5 minus 1, it is 0. Now, if this is the case in the pattern, the first value whenever we get, the second value will be considered 
and we erase the first value, we consider the second value. Now, in this case, the second value of A we consider it as 0. So, now this is how we calculate the bad match table values. Now, in this example, now A is the last character. So, according to the algorithm rule, we consider the value of A as 6, which is the last character. Now, moving to the value of N here. So, N is the length is 6, then the position value is 4, then minus 1, 6 minus 5, the value is 1. Now, N value is 1 here. So, this is how we construct the bad match table. So, these are the characters which we have taken from the pattern. Friends, uh, this is how we construct the bad match table. This is a pre-processing step in the algorithm. Now, moving to a main part of the algorithm where we are going to match the characters of the pattern with the given text. Now, uh, here we should start. Now, uh, the first six characters will be considered for the first step in the matching. Now, so this is the first step. I will consider it as the step one. So, as there is a space constraint, let me uh, compare the first step here itself. Now, uh, the main uh, feature of this algorithm is we match the characters always from right to left. Now, uh, the character M will be matched with the character A. Now, there is no match. There is a mismatch. Now, what we do? From the text, whichever the character that we have started matching. So, here we started matching with the character M. We should search the value of this M from the bad match table when there is a mismatch. Now, there is a mismatch here. M doesn't match with A. The M value we have to consider from the bad match table. Now, if you observe the table, we don't have the character value that is M here. Now, apart from these characters, if you consider any character during the mismatch, what we should consider the star value we are going to consider. Here, the star value is 6. Now, the 6 spaces, that is the 6 positions, we are moving the pattern to the right direction. Now, we have started. Now, while moving to right direction, we are going to start from the first character. Now, already in the first step, we started with first character. We should leave this. Start counting from the next character. Next character is A. So, how many positions we have to move the pattern? 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, your pattern, you are going to start from E, right? So, you are below exactly, I am going to repeat my pattern. Surana. Fine. So, now, hope you understood. So, we had M here. M and A, there is, was no match. So, M value we didn't had in the table. Consider star value. Star value is 6. So, 6 positions you have to move to right. Now, leaving the first character which we have started in the previous step, start counting from the next character from E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, exactly from the sixth position, again your second step matching we are going to start. Now, again start matching from the right side. Now, if you observe, R and A you are going to match. So, R and A, again there is a mismatch. Now, again what we should consider? This R character value from the bad match table we should consider. The R value from the table is 3. Again, what we have to do? The 3 spaces we have to move to right. Now, again leave the first character which we started in the previous step. Start counting from the next character. 1, 2, 3. So now, we are going to start our pattern exactly from this character. So below exactly I will write S U R A N A. So now again start matching, A matches with A. So each and every character we have to match. Now again there is a match, R and R there is a match, U matches with U and again S matches with S. Now so the given pattern present in the given text, so so and so position we have to consider 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the, finally we write P present in T at what is the position number 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the position 9th position so this is the output of the uh, friends uh, for the same 
example, I have taken another pattern. Hope uh, with the previous uh, pattern was this particular word. So, hope you understood how to construct the band match table, the values and then how we follow the procedure of matching. Now, uh, I have taken the other pattern in the same uh, text which is the pattern is college which is present in the last part of the text. So now uh, for the same procedure I have written for the college pattern you have to construct the bad match table. So in the bad match table C value is 6 so because so C total the length of the pattern is 7. C is 7 minus 0 so the C's position value is 0, 0 minus 1 is that is total value is 6. Similarly O position is 1, 7 minus 1 minus 1 is 5, so 5 we have written here. Now L, the first L position is 2, here if you observe the L value is 7 minus 2 minus 1, it is 4. Again we have one more character L, so again for that character also we have to calculate 7 minus the position value is 3, 3 minus 1 is 3, so first value will be overwritten and we have to consider the second value. Now again E we have, so E value we got 2 first time and again one more E also we have. So as according to the procedure of Boyer-Moore algorithm, the last character value in the table should be equal to length of the pattern. So as we have followed for the previous example, that is E value we have. And similarly, G we have, G is the position value is 5, 7 minus 5 minus 1 is exactly 1 we have written over here. Then what is the star value here in this example? It is 7 because so, other than these characters, during the matching, if you find any other characters, we have to consider it as star itself. Now, this is the procedure of the pre-processing step. Now, uh, let us go through the matching procedure of this pattern with the text. Fine. So, now exactly I have taken uh, 7 characters here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 characters we consider. Start matching from the right side. Now, E, if you observe, there is a match. E matches with the character E. Now, if you observe M and E, there is no match. So, now, in this kind of example, even though there is a match with the first character, suppose M and here also, if you have M, M also matches with M. Here, O also, if you have M, O also matches with O. Then, if you consider there is no match here, even in this case, what we have to do, when there is mismatch of any characters from the pattern with the text, we have to consider the bad match value as only the first character which we have started matching. Hope you are understanding, right? Here, the E value, what E value has matched, but M value, there is no match. But even though, we have to consider the E character value only from the table to shift the pattern. So, here E value from the table is 7. Now count the value 7, leave W here. Now start counting from here. So how many characters we have to shift? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now exactly from T, the below T you are going to match. Now I will write here C, O, L, L, E, G, E here. Here we are going to write. Now again start matching. N and E, if you observe, again there is no match. So when there is no match here in this step, so what we do, again N value, we don't have N here. We have to consider star only. Now star value is 7. We currently in this step, we started from T. Now we leave T. From here you are going to count 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So exactly from here, in the next step, again you are going to match. Now here I will write C, O, L, L, E, G, E I am going to write. Now again start matching from the right side. So, so many characters, so many uh, exactly the same length you have to consider for the matching purpose. Now here first character itself there is no match. Now G and E there is no match. Take the value of G from the table. G value is 1. So how many characters we are shifting? One character. Now, leave this exactly A because we started in the previous step. Exactly the next value, one character we are going to shift. Now, one position means exactly it comes below C O L L E G E. So, now we have to match each and every character starting from right. So, each and every character there is a successful match. Now, we are going to write the output. The P present at so, take the position value of this and write that position value of the, in the final pattern value. 
So this is exactly the procedure of Boyer Moore pattern matching algorithm. The main feature of this algorithm is always the matching starts from the right side to left direction. So you are going to start from zero position of the character of the pattern with the text itself. But if you take the same length of the pattern with the text, you start matching from the right to left. So this is how the procedure of Boyer Moore algorithm. Thank you.